In this video, we're going to look at the dictionary.get method in Python. This is a method that allows you to do a lookup of a particular key, and if that key exists, you get the value, and if it does not exist, you get none, or you can provide a second parameter to get, which is the default value. Let's see that in action now. I've got a list of football teams here, and each team is represented by a dictionary with some keys and values. So what I want to do is loop over these teams and pull out the city, which you can see exists on the Arsenal dictionary, but it does not exist on the Manchester City dictionary. So let's get started. For team and teams, first of all, let's just print out the team to verify that that's working. Um, and we have two teams in this list. So what I want to do now is print team and we're going to index into the dictionary looking for the city key. Now this is the way you can normally look for a key in a dictionary, use the square brackets. But you'll see that that actually is going to throw an error. Now we get London for Arsenal because that does have a key called city. That particular dictionary has that key. But the second dictionary for Man City does not have that key. So we get what's called a key error in Python. And that's when you're trying to look up a particular key that does not exist in the data structure. So what we need to do is use the dot get method in this case to look up the city. And what happens now is this is a this is a function on the dictionary object and we look up the city key and if it doesn't exist it will not cause a, a key error but instead will return none. So we should now see London for the first team and now for the second team Man City which does not have a city key we get none. So that's all well and good. That allows you to avoid the potential key error. And we can also provide a default value for this. Let's say Manchester. It doesn't really make sense to have a default value for the city because it could be anything, but you might have the case where you wanted, for example, if you were looking at numbers, you might have a dictionary, say, let's say dict.get number, and you might want the default value to be zero. That's a very common use case. But for this one, we're going to default to Manchester. So if the city key doesn't exist, we'll make the city Manchester. And that will return what we want. And we can make this anything. We could make this uh, New York. And we would get New York. So the dictionary.get method, if you're wanting to do a lookup of a particular key, and you're not sure if it exists in the dictionary, it might not exist, um, then that is a very good method to use. And you can use the dot get method to simplify your code. So let's say I had a team, just a single team this time, and we wanted to look up a particular key. So let's say we wanted to find the city um, if it exists within the dictionary. So if there is a key city, which we can see there is not, then we want to pull it out into a variable which we'll call city. And if there's no key, we will assign city to a random just a random city, let's say Brighton. Now, if I print the city at this case, you can see that it will print Brighton because, and that's because there is no key called city within the team dictionary, so it prints out city. But this code can be shortened to a single line of code with the dictionary.get function. So if I comment that out, and I simply say city equals team, which is the dictionary itself, team.get and we'll provide the key of city and then we can provide the default value of Brighton and that is the same equivalent code as these four lines so by using dictionary.get you can avoid having to use the if and the else check here and you can use a single line of code to look up that key and if it doesn't exist you provide the default value so that's all for this video Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated and see you in the next video.